You're a creepy individual, and I don't much care for you. <laughs> the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Lonely Things. Last episode, we got confronted by Joe, who is a bit of a creep, and he's trying to call us out for being a creep, and uh, I'm calling shenanigans on that, but we're gonna help him out anyway because we're nice people. And so, gotta find room 10, which I think is in the other hallway. And we also gotta go with blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah. We also gotta go give Jane her cassette tape that she wanted. So, hang on, Jane. I'll be there in a second. We're gonna go find room ten and uh, talk to the flower salesman that's apparently there. And why is there a stone wall suddenly up here in hall? That is not cool. Means I gotta go all the way around. That's okay. I could use the exercise. But, what are these? Broken glass or maybe, let's go ahead and say broken glass. Cause I, my other thought was that they were teeth and that would just be nasty. All right, so there's room nine. That means that maybe there's this room 10. What the? Also, where would a room 11 be? Why do I have room 12 if there's no room 11? Hello? Hi. Well, isn't that lovely? His body has roots. What the? He has become treeple. Dead flower added to inventory. Oh, yay! Does the water work? What's in here? Oh, it's the bathroom. Hello? Funky, funky, funky. Okay. Cool. So, um, yeah. That's, that's a thing. Deadman on the bed. Nobody's done squat about it. How hygienic? Well, I suppose considering the other stuff that's been going on, that's the least of my concerns. <sighs> All right, so to the Jane and the Joe. Everyone's got. These people have J names. I don't know why I'm making that connection and mis mentioning Schneichels about it. All right. Oh, you found it. Thanks. You know, you were saying what you were saying before. It actually makes me feel funny. You don't seem like the other people around here. I don't know what it is. Just a feeling I get about you. Um. You want to make out? No, I, I'd rather not. Your your face kind of weirded me out. No offense. I mean, you're you're probably a beautiful person inside, but on the outside, you're kind of um. Scabby. Or something. I don't know. Anyway, I thought I should give you this. I don't know what it's for. I found it cleaning one of the rooms. Gives me a funny feeling, too. I hope you find your car. If anyone knows where it is, it'll be him. Him who? We're playing the pro... We're playing the pronoun game. Where can I find him? I saw him go into the basement earlier. Never saw him come out. Uh, but I kind of space out sometimes. Anyway, I should probably do some work now. All right. I've... Have fun with that, Jane. Can I get out of the building again? I can. I can go outside and see that my car is not in the parking space that it should be. On to Joe.
give him the dead flower, I suppose. Hey, Joe. Did you get something for me? Uh, this is all I could find, because, you know, dude's a corpse now. I suppose that'll have to do. Lauren likes some freaky stuff. Maybe she'll like this, too. You, you're maybe not such a terrible person. I don't like owing people stuff, so I want to give you something in return. Plus, you and I are becoming pretty good buddies, right? Lauren gave it to me. She said to keep it away from Terrence. I can't let my special lady down, but I don't want Terrence coming after me either. Oh, shit. I guess I kind of gave it away. I guess I kind of gave away who she is, huh? <laughs> I don't think that mean... Don't think that means you can go stealing her from me now. Um, dude? Never mind. You're just... You're a creepy individual, and I don't much care for you. Compared to all the other people, he's definitely the creepiest. And that's saying something, considering that they're running around with toothy masks and being all freaky cult-like under the hotel. Ah, but... I think we need to go back down here, cause things and stuff and stuff and things put things here and see what they brings. Why am I rhyming? I don't know. There we go. And now we turn and the door's unlocked. Okay. What goes on? Whoa. Is that a sphincter? Or is that just more cave? I think that's just more cave. What's going on? Got creepy tunnels and holes and such. Are they worm people? I don't know. But. Got some creepy stuff going on. It's nothing but dark. Why can't I see nothing but dark? Oh, hello. Why won't you look at me? You don't look right. That's funny, coming from you. And yeah, she kind of looks way different than she did at the beginning of the game. She's got red eyes. She's the only one with red eyes. That's significant, I think. I don't know. I'm just guessing. How do you want me to look? like she was. So that's not the real Lord? Who, who is this? Of course, I'll do anything for you. Don't say things like that. She never talked that way. Just be her and you can do whatever else you want to do. You've turned into a grumpy old man, Terry. Yeah like that. What's going on? I know it's not much, but as long as you help out, you can have this room. Are you kidding? I've been sleeping in a car for weeks. This is great. Oh, this is the backstory for Terrence and Jane, maybe? Well, well, I'm glad that. Seriously, thanks, Terrence. I don't know what I would have done. Don't worry about it. And look, I'm happy for the help, but you shouldn't stay here too long. Right, just until I figure out what I'm doing. Right. Oh, oh, what's going on? Lauren? What is that? That's not a human! Yes, Terry. I want you to let the girl go. Lauren? Nobody leaves. I know. It's just... She isn't like the others. She still has... I don't know. A reason not to be here. Don't you love me, Terry? 
Of course I do. Don't I make you happy? Come on, don't... I just want you to do one thing for me. Oh, I just want you to do one thing for me. She belongs to me now. They all do. You know that. Look, you told me once that I'm your tether to this place. Let her go, or I'll... Shh, none of that. If I do let her go, then another has to take her place first. All right. I'll only do this once. Don't ask for it again. What? Hey. Can you see me? Yeah, I can. Um, I think. Good, I suppose we have a little time. I just wanted to get a chance to say thanks before I go. Thanks for what? For what you're doing, even if you didn't realize it. It's letting me go. Where are you going? Outside, away from here. That's all I've figured out so far. Maybe I'll look for my sister. I don't even know how long it's been. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Why? Because of the letter? She didn't write it. That's the kind of trick this place plays. Make it so you don't want to think about the outside. You don't even realize it's happening. I'm sorry for what's going on to do to you. Terence is too. He didn't mean to hurt you. Can, I, can you take me with you? I would if I could, but I can't. It wants you now. I can't change it. Look, don't be scared, okay? You won't remember it. It all just fades away, like a dream. Ooh. What's going on? So, this is... Ooh, this is like conspiracy and shit. Oh, so I'm like a sacrifice. Oh! Ironically, this kind of reminds me of Midnight Meat Train. <laughs> um, in a, in, a, in a twisted sort of sense. But the twists and turns are really interesting. And I, I, I like where this is going. I want, let's see what happens. What to do, what to do. I don't have my flashlight. That's not cool. Ah, all right, so... Hello? Why is it all red and such? Hello? I can't go through anywhere else now either. Whoa. Good God, is this a cave? Or is it... Even the exit is blocked. I couldn't leave if I wanted to. Um... Seriously though, is this a cave or is this you as a creature having in your stomach I am in? I don't know. I'll talk to you in a minute. For right now, I'm going to go to the bar because I need a stiff drink. Let's see what happens in here. Hello. Wait, isn't this Grace? Looking for some company? It is! And she's fine! Her face is not all splashified and such. Looking for some company? Sure! Why not? Well, you got here just in time. In time? I was about to give up on the whole night and turn in. It's far too early for that. Exactly what I was thinking. So... What are you doing all the way out here in the middle of nowhere? Nothing at all. Look at us. So much in common already. Hello! Oh, a creepy mask man playing piano beautifully, actually. What happens? 
Hello, Joe! What are you looking at? You're just sitting there on the floor like a doof. Actually, you look kind of depressed. I'm kind of sad for you now. Jane's gone. Was I supposed to talk to Lauren first? Poor Terrence, too. Well, sorry for this episode being so short. That's the end. But this was an awesome series, and I am really glad I got to play the whole thing. Uh, what can I say? The story was compelling, actually, and, and it was really well done. I, it took a, it kind of took a twist that I wasn't expecting, and I like how it ended up. It's kind of a sad, macabre ending, but, uh, at the same time, it's... I don't know how to explain it. But thank you guys for joining me on this adventure. Hopefully you liked it as much as I enjoyed playing it. And, uh... See you in the next adventure. Hopefully, it'll amaze. <laughs>